I'm gonna take a shot on this one. I'm gonna say beer. I'm buying everybody around on this! Oh my god! You know, I just realized in that segment uh, that there it still says ATR on the bottom, even though the Big Apple Hockey. I've told you to get rid of that. I know that, but you know what? I'm going to have to fix that and get uh, that out of there. So don't worry. It'll be fixed for the next show. Oh, but... look, look, look who look who joins us from watching right here, Mr. Anthony LaRocco. Ooh. The big Z, does that mean that big... <laughs> or does that does that mean something else, Anthony? Uh, are are they sleeping? Uh, maybe that's what that's what we're gonna say. <laughs> I mean, hell, the, the Islanders are kind of the Devils 2.0, so there you go. Uh, where uh, Martin Bordeaux would face those whopping 14 shots a game. Yeah, and, and people. I mean, and they, I'm not just hating for folks. Go back through the stat sheet. There was a lot of times. You, you didn't even – he got hit with a puck. He was surprised. Um, <laughs> so, also, uh, once again, by the way, uh, training camps are opening Wednesday, and we mentioned we are going to be at the game on Sunday. If you're going to be there, uh, hit us up on our brand-new Big Apple Hockey Twitter, and who knows, we'll even have a beer and discuss. And, some yeah, and let, uh, let's put that in the uh, – let's put that in there. Uh, oh, it's in there. It's uh -oh. in the ticker. Oh, it's in the ticker? Okay. It's in the ticker. Yeah. Because so also, by the way, and the other thing I always constantly mention is it's at the end of every video now, but check out Hattrick Apparel uh, for some shirts, hoodies. I mean, everything got a lot of good stuff. I should be getting a Mika's Advantage ad shirt soon. Um, but so just yeah. in case anybody hasn't seen it, our new Twitter at Big Apple Hockey. Um, I know I followed a few people already. I'll be going around and following some more people. Give us a follow back and definitely join in on uh, the discussion with us. But hit us up there if you're going to be there next uh, this upcoming Sunday. We'd love to meet up with you if you're there and uh, get to put the uh, get to put some faces to the names, you know? Yeah, which is always a good thing because, I mean, after all, when Mike uh, NYR uh, stopped in uh, to Croker's and I'm like, holy shit, all right, there you go. All right, guys, so welcome to Big Apple Hockey Bar Talk, where we gauge our confidence on NHL topics based on our choice of drink. The, the, are you depressed? You just need a shot. You're so-so. You can take a beer. Or you're so confident you're buying everybody around. Well, we're going to start with this one. And the New York Rangers will miss Pavel Buchnevich, Mr. Filkowski. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to buy everybody around on this one. Um I think that they'll have depth that will step up. I've mentioned the three kids, Kako, Lafreniere, Kravtsov, that are going to have to step up and, and uh, you know basically replace his offense. But um, they're they're going to miss him. He's a, he was turned into a real good penalty killer. He was on their top penalty killing unit with Mika Zibanejad uh, in the forward department there. Uh, he was their first line right winger. He was really the play driver on that line. So. Uh, I, I honestly think they're really going to miss him. Uh, you're going to feel it. I, I said they were going to miss Carl Hagelin when Carl Hagelin left. They sorely lacked his play, or they lacked his speed against the uh, the Penguins in 2016, and mm -hmm. they ended up getting trounced in that first round. I think they're going to miss Pavel Buchnevich again. It, 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 you know what? I'm not saying this team's going to be bad, and I'm not saying that they're they're going to struggle a lot because he's gone. There's going to be other reasons why this team is going to have its ups and downs. And Pavel Bochnevich is one of them, though. So, yeah, I'm, I'm buying around on this. Um, last night, I we were discussing this. Oh, but by the way, before we, I get too far, uh, remember part of the reason why they really needed his speed against the Pittsburgh Penguins is because he was using their speed for the Pittsburgh Penguins in that series. Yes. So that was part of the problem. But when you traded him to Anaheim, you didn't think he was going to be traded back to Pittsburgh. So um, I originally said shot uh, on this because I just, I think they got the talent to, to fill the holes and maybe you're going to see something different from Kratzoff and uh, Lafreniere and Kako, but I'm going to upgrade it to a beer. Uh, I think it, there's a lot to be said about the growth of Buchnevich. 
I loved Pavel Buchnevich, no matter how many times I said he was going to get traded and they have to trade him because of salary cap reasons. If there was no salary cap, he's a New York Ranger right now. It, um, the, it would have been like then, and, and again, it would have been like a beer because eventually you got to develop these, these three players. And you can't constantly do that by putting him on the fourth line with Brett Howden. And um, fortunately, we don't have to worry about that anymore, but we're moving on from that. Uh, did you see a good comment? What's that? Did you see a good comment? I saw your hand move. No, I was <laughs> replying to Joe's uh, comment here about Marty Brodeur. So I replied in the uh, the chat while you were going. Yeah. Yeah. And there's a lot of that. Well, while you're doing that, I'll start this one off. Morgan Barron is going to make the opening night New York Rangers roster. I'm buying everybody around. Um, simply put, I think this kid's got the chops. Uh, he had the first goal on Saturday. Uh, it was off a giveaway, and I think he went off the post and in on – I don't even know who the Flyers goalie was. I know I could have looked it all up, but I was just looking at who our guys were. Um uh, though I think Morgan Frost had a couple goals in that game too, but uh, no, I'm buying everybody around. I, th- I think I think Morgan Barron's a player, and I mean I'm nervous about where he might fit in and who you might have to take out of the lineup. But you know something that's going to be part of this Rangers team the entire year. They're going to be bringing guys in and out and in and out, and that's the way you're going to keep Brian Rees fresh. That's the way you're going to keep Sammy Blaze fresh. Sorry, Sammy Blay, and um. And Barkley Goudreau as well. That's oh, he's not coming out of the lineup, but you know what I mean. Silk, I'm with you. I'm, I'm buying around. I, I mean, like I said when we were talking about the games, uh, Morgan Barron was just super impressive. He looked well past the point of being of playing with and against prospects at this point. I, I, he's ready for the big guys. I I don't know how much else he has left to prove at excuse me the AHL level. I really don't know how much else he has left to prove. I, I don't think there's anything, if if anything at all. So, I, I think you're gonna uh, you're gonna see him on either the the fourth line, uh, probably the fourth line. I would say he'll probably be the fourth line center. And I, I think if maybe like Sean mentioned, I mean Baron with Reeves and Blay. I, I mean that could be a really good fourth line because if you look at Sammy Blay's numbers, Sammy Blay has been putting up third line numbers in St. Louis. Third line numbers. And if you got him on your fourth line, your fourth line's probably going to be pretty damn good, especially if you got a kid like Barron who's got some skill, some a high hockey IQ, the size and the mobility to be able to to uh, to put that all together on on your fourth line with two guys like that. Ooh, yeah. I think that could be a real problem for teams. So yeah, I'm fine around. And again, uh, when I put this in perspective, the New York uh, Sammy Blay is now a New York Ranger, and he's the type of guy that everybody's been asking for for the last two to three seasons. Yeah. He's a guy that leveled David Backus in the Stanley Cup Finals versus the Boston Bruins, the yeah. former captain of the St. Louis Blues. So most of the team of the of his teammates knew the guy as the captain of the team, and he stepped up and just cleaned his clock. So uh, I I love the way this kid's going to play, and there's a lot of people that think that he's going to play really well too. All right, moving on back to the island, as a lot of people in the chat are very happy. Uh, <laughs> Zdeno Chara will play 60 games this season for the New York Islanders. John? And by the way, I have his numbers right here. I'm going to say beer. Um, I think there's <laughs> and then Joe said skip it. <laughs> 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 but I, I, I think I'm going to go with a beer here. I, I just think that they might end up resting him, you know, from game to game. And they're gonna yeah. probably look to get um, to get Gustafson in if he makes the team. Um, 
Uh, Sean, in terms of round shots or beers to get Char drunk, um, we're not talking Andre the Giant here, but I'd imagine it's a, it's a lot. So, um, yeah, I do agree with Will's comment before about the uh, the fourth line. Yeah. Uh, that was a good comment. But I, I think Char, they're going to try to keep him fresh. I, I could see between 60 to 70 um, unless he gets hurt, um, that's possible. He's 44 years old. I mean, I think you'd really want to keep him fresh. Gustafson makes it. He's going to get a lot of minutes, and he's going to get power play time because they need somebody to quarterback that power play. They don't really have anybody right now. I, I, I like Ryan Pollock as a trigger man at the point, but he's not a true power play quarterback unless he takes some unforeseen development offensively <clears throat> out of nowhere, which – I guess it's technically possible, but it's not something you should be holding your breath for if you're an Islander fan. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna say beer. I, I think that also I think Robin Sallow and, and um, Sam Bolduc might end up uh, getting some games with the Islanders by the end of the year too. So it, it'll help the Islanders to have depth. I'm gonna go with beer as well. Uh, I don't know exactly how much he's got left in the tank. I will say this. He is, um, again, he's huge. I want to know if he's got the speed to keep up in this game. Uh, the other part is that I, I mean, he plays about 80% of his games anyway. So somebody that plays that physical and avoids injury, because uh, if you look at over the numbers, the last, the last bunch of years, I mean, he played, he, he's played most of them. So it's, um, I think he's gonna. I think he's 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 gonna play sixty games at least for the Islanders, uh, and they're gonna need him to because they need that left side D filled. Uh, we were hoping to freak out Anthony with this question, but <laughs> Alexander Ovechkin will score less than forty goals this season, and I'm just hearing Anthony screaming uh, from home right now, uh, but. You know what? <laughs> no, nah, he's going to score 40. Uh, I, I'm going to go shot. So uh, we got the little angry shot guy right there. <clears throat> kind of make him a little bit bigger. Uh, but no, I, I, this guy, Alexander Oveshkin, fires the puck. He's Brett Hall 2.0. Uh, and he'll he'll just stay at that point, one time the puck for days, and, and end up just – He'll, yeah. he'll put in 40 goals this year. That, that one time 50 well. this year. Yeah, that one timer might be the best one timer ever. Um I I'm going to say I'm going to say beer. Okay. And the only reason why I'm going to say beer it's because my answer comes with the pretense of does he finally finally have a major injury that keeps him out for like 15 plus games. Mm. Like, do, do, and last year, I mean, if I if I remember correctly, I think he paced at just about forty. If if I'm correct, uh, I'll double check it again. But I believe he had twenty two or twenty three. Yeah, uh, what I'm saying is he he paced at just about. Actually, no, he uh, oh no, he paced at over forty. Yeah, because forty eight would have been a goal every other game. Forty eight games. So he had 24 goals in only 45 games. Um, he's starting to get closer to the point where his his production is going to go down, uh, I think. And I, I think he'll get it, but I think it's going to be very close. That's, a, that's actually good. I like that. Yeah, at, that's the truth. Yeah. That, that 2018 bender that he had after they won the cup was the stuff of legends. I do have to say, other than possibly being with Mark Messier after the Rangers won the cup, because he was just everywhere in New York that year. Um Why wouldn't you with the Stanley Cup. Uh I would I would have loved to have uh been in the Ovechkin entourage. And <laughs> hell, he was he was drinking beer out of a fountain at Nash at Nationals Park and out of the out of the Stanley Cup. All right, Mark, 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 you're 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 looking like turtle right now with the hat 
And I could be Johnny Drama, obviously, because my name is Johnny. So we, <laughs> we, we'd have Ovechkin's entourage right now. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Even though, uh, even though you know, technically the has-been actor is right here. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there, there you go. If you like that video, we got a lot more. So check out any of these that are right over here. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Your ideas are intriguing to me, and I wish to subscribe to your newsletter.